Hi everyone, my name is Kathy. I use she, her pronouns and I work for the Pikes Peak Library District. Today I'll be showing you three online party games that you can play remotely. So we have Pictionary, Scategories, and Just One. And all of these you can pair with the video chat service of your choice. So if you like to use Zoom, Discord, Facebook Messenger, whatever else you like to use, you can use that along with these games but they also work as well if you don't have a way to video chat with your friends or family that you're playing with. We'll start with Pictionary, which you've probably all played before. One person draws, everyone else guesses what they're drawing, and then we'll go on to the other two from there. So the first game I'll show you here is Pictionary. The website for this one is scribble.io. You can put in your name and customize your little avatar. If you're the person setting up the game, you'll click on Create Private Room. And you can play this with anywhere from 2 to 12 players. As the person setting up the game, you can choose how many rounds to play, and each person will draw once in each round. You can change the draw time, so how long that person gets to draw on their turn. And then if you want to set up your own word list, you can type your words into this box and use the little check mark to tell it that you just want to use the words that you've made. So after you have all your settings done over here, you can invite your friends. It just has a link here, which you can copy and then send to your friends in whatever way makes sense for you over Discord, over email, over Zoom, Facebook Messenger, whatever works for you. So let me get some more people in here. Okay, so I've got my friends Sophie and Kaladin in here. If that's all the players that I think I'm going to have in my game, I can go ahead and click on Start Game. Okay, it's showing that it's my turn to choose something to draw now, and it's giving me the options of thumb, slime, or chocolate. If you take too long, it will auto-pick for you, and it has chosen for me thumb. So I have all these options here of different colors. I have a pencil, eraser, a bucket, different sizes of brushes. So you have a lot of options. I'm going to see if I can draw a little thumbs up hand here. this. And then as other players can see you drawing, they can type their guess into the box. And if they guess correctly, it'll tell everyone that they guessed correctly. If they do not guess correctly, it'll show their guess. So other people can see what they guessed and know that that is not correct. Once everyone has guessed correctly. It gives people points to pay on how quickly they got the answer, and then it'll move on to the next person. It says that Kaladin is choosing a word again, and then it'll go through as many rounds of, as you selected when you set up the game. So that is a way for you to play Pictionary online. Our second game is Scategories. The website for this one is scategoriesonline.net. And it'll give you some options of categories here. You can add some more. You can switch some out. There's a bunch of categories in here. If you are not feeling the ones that they show here, you can click on more categories. It does ask you to make an account. It's a free account, so you can decide whether you want to pick and choose from the categories they have listed here, or whether you want to make that free account and have access to more categories or make your own categories. I'm going to go with these that I've chosen here and click on create new game. This can play anywhere from two to 45 players. We're gonna have three. If you've never played categories before, the way it works is that you have this list of categories 
and you will get a random letter. With the physical game, there's a die that have the letters on it. You roll the die and play with whatever letter it lands on. Here, the game will choose a letter for us. So if it chooses M, we then have a timer that starts going and you're trying to name something in every category that starts in the letter M. So for school subjects, you could have math. Uh, for a country, you could have Mexico. Um, things with tails, think a macaw has a tail, etc. So you're trying to get one in each of these categories, starting with the letter it has selected, but if you answer the same answer that someone else does, your answers are both eliminated. So you want to think of something that's maybe a little unique to make sure you get points for it. So the options that they're giving us here, letters, it has eliminated Q, W, X, Y, and Z, since those could be rather tricky. If you wanted to make your game tricky, you could add them back in as options. You can take anything out as options here. The number of rounds from three to six, or if you get that account, you can have seven to 10 as well. Then you can choose that the round ends after a minute, which is sort of the standard thing they have listed here or you can make the timer longer or shorter, or you can have it end when somebody presses the stop button. And then you can make it an open game for anybody or just for friends that you invite. So we're gonna set that up here, create new game. And here are the things that we've set up, the categories, the number of players, the number of rounds, the length of the timer, and here's our link. So I'll go ahead and copy that and get a couple more players in here. Okay, so I forgot that this one, as soon as it reaches that player count that you told it you would have, it starts going. So let's try again, this time with me ready to record as soon as everybody gets in here. There is a second player and... a third player and we're going. So let's see what it gives us here. It says round one of three, and the letter is O. So we wanna think of an answer for each of these categories that starts with O. So a boy's name could be Owen. Um, pizza toppings, olives. Let me try to get some answers in on my other players here. Okay, so you can see it was a little tricky trying to get some answers in on three different devices. Um, you can see everyone's answers here. And if you don't think that it should count, you can mark it as invalid. So this player here is Ren and answered Owen for a boy's name olives for pizza topping. And then one of my other players, Prairie Dog, answered Oman for a country and olives for a pizza topping. Now, if somebody answers the same thing as someone else, it doesn't count. So we'll X out both of those because they gave the same answer. And if you have multiple people who disagree with something, it will show here, so let me disagree on a second device. And it shows that Trout, my third device here, thinks these answers are okay, but Prairie Dog and Wren both think these answers should not count because of the same answer. And if someone gives an answer that's just wrong, like if they said that a orchestra is a thing with a tail, they could maybe argue that some of the members of the orchestra wear a coat with a tail. And then that's up to you and all of your players as to whether you want to count that or not. So after everybody has finished looking over whatever results you have in, you can click confirm results at the bottom and it will move on to the next round here. 
and give you a new letter, same categories. And then that just goes through for all of the rounds that you have set up. And then at the end, you'll get to look at how many points you all got total. So this is scategoriesonline.net. Okay, the last game we'll look at is Just One, and the website for this is oneword.games. This one you will need an email address to play. You can click on guest account, but then when other players go to uh, sign into your game, it will ask them to sign in with an email address. So it gives you the option to sign in with Google or set up a separate account just through your email. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in here. Okay, so it has a space for your name and it'll make up a name for your room. It's called it Adjoining Trees. I could change that if I want to, but I think that's okay. I'll say Enter Room. And then when your friends pull up one word dot games on this front page here, they'll see the room you just made, adjoining trees with Kathy. So you just have to tell them what the room name is. And then when they click on it to join in, it will ask them to sign in with Gmail or an email like it just did when we were creating the room. So let me get some other players in here. Okay, we've got Kathy, Kat, and Kath. We have three me's in here. The way that just one works is that one person is guessing. Everyone else gets to give one clue. So it shows that on this screen here, I, Kathy, am the guesser. But the other two players get a hint that I can see because they're both me that says the word is writing. So the other players want to write one word that will get me to guess writing. But if they both write the same word, they both get canceled out. So if both cat and cath write pencil, they both go away and I get nothing. It's a little easier if you have more than three players because if you have like five players it's not likely that all five will say the same thing for their clue so maybe just some of them will will cancel out or maybe none of them will cancel out if everyone's sort of coming at it from different angles so you have to carefully think about what you want your clue to be so that the guesser has a reasonable chance of getting it right but also so that you don't write the same thing someone else did. So, all right, let's see. I submitted a clue for cat, which turned it green over here. So we're just waiting on calf. Okay, so now I, Kathy the guesser, I get to see what clues I've received. Cat said journal, cat said pencil. It's a little hard to play by yourself, obviously, because I know that the answer is writing, which I can go ahead and put in here and hit submit. Good job. You got it right. But we can go on to the second round. And then you can see the example here that cat this time is the one guessing. So I can see the word is tin and I have to choose something that I think will be a good clue, but not also the same thing that other people will say. I'll go ahead and bring this back around to um, Kathy guessing so that you can see what it looks like when people say the same thing. Okay, so now it is Kathy's turn to guess again, and I'm going to have the other players both write the same thing so you can see what happens here. Your clues are good luck. So it says collisions here because Cat and Kath both wrote the same thing. They cancel each other out. So you have just nothing to go off of for this one. The answer is pollution. They both wrote smog. So it's a total of 13 rounds. And then you'll see, I mean, I got 11 correct out of the 13. 
because I saw the answers for all of them. And I did one misspelling. So keep in mind, when you're writing your answer, if you miss an L in umbrella, it will count it as incorrect. So that is just one at one word dot games. I hope you'll give one or all of those games a try with your friends and family. If you're looking for more game related stuff, if you go to ppld.org slash teens and scroll down a little ways on that page, there's a post called uh, free games and game resources. And that lists some other ways that you can play board games online. It has some free multiplayer video games on there some information about print and play games, and some tabletop RPG resources as well. Have fun.